Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. So I want to give you a little bit of a heads up. In this channeling session with Prince in the Afterlife, we are coming up to the fifth year anniversary in April of 2021 of his transition. And you may or may not know, but Above Life Channel exists because of Prince in the Afterlife. So I myself have not been a Prince fan or fam or admirer during my lifetime, even though I live in Minnesota and it kind of might make sense that I knew who Prince was. I knew where he lived. I've had experiences driving by that big white igloo looking Paisley Park and that's what we thought of it. That's what I thought of it. I didn't really think much of it. I thought, oh, creative. Oh, that's cool. It looks like a museum outside. Like it's fancy. It's got kind of this unique architecture. That's pretty much it. Had literally had that experience driving by it right out of college with my first real job. I used to live in that area and drove right by Highway 5. So I knew Prince, but in a different way than what you might think or expect. So during his, during the day and the days following his passing in April of 2016, my mediumship and my connection specifically with channeling just was wide open and connected to Prince. Not because he chose me, he did not choose me. I wanna be really clear during this channeling session that you understand that Prince did not pick me. He doesn't choose people. I don't believe, I do not believe that afterlife celebrities just randomly pick that person or this person or that person because they're just so special. I don't believe that at all. Because you have intuition, you are a spirit just like I am. We're just in bodies and we have different skills, different levels of focus and purpose and mission in this lifetime. Mine happens to be to help inspire the spirit, to fill you with hope, to help you, encourage you to live your best life by using all the gifts that are available to you like intuition, trusting yourself, building relationship with yourself and so on. You know this, you know this if you watched Above Life Channel. That's why I channel Afterlife Celebrities because it inspires you and they have good, information for us to help inspire us collectively as humankind to be better people. They have a great understanding in the gift from the afterlife. So when I connected with Prince, I didn't know that it was going to become this, that it was going to open up and lead into this. I honestly, at that point, you could have never told me that I was gonna channel afterlife celebrities. You would have never, I would have laughed at you and thought, okay, I'm not a hearse chaser. That's what I would have said. Very judgmental, super critical. I'm human. I have a mind that does that. I'm guessing you do too, right? Are you, do you self-sabotage? Do you talk badly to yourself sometimes? Negative, right? Right? We all do that. It's okay. And when you know better, as my Angelo would say, you do better, right? So now I totally get that. Okay, Bridget, that's kind of rude. Very rude. I don't think I'm better than that. Do I really? It was like, no, I was just afraid of it. I was afraid because I just, I was afraid to do it because I didn't want to get attacked. <laughs> I didn't want to seem like that was my goal is just to be some celebrity channeler because my goal is to work with people like you, right? And through mediumship, helping with healing, helping with closure, helping to understand your own emotions and the process of becoming closer and more in tune with yourself, all right? And so that happens a lot through psychic and mediumship connection, but it also happens through life coaching, which is why I'm an intuitive life coach, okay? So it's not just a one-time event or experience or a point of contact where you channel that celebrity and you move on. It could open up a whole, whole host of, of, of energy flow states for you and opportunities for you to think about or consider situations and circumstances in your own life based upon that connection in a different way, that in a healthier way, in a healing way. That's the point. And so my experience with Prince in the Afterlife was just that for me. An incredible growth experience, let me just tell you, because he really pushed energetically. And I want to be clear, he did not choose me. He did not choose anybody. <laughs> I do not believe that. I believe that I was open and connected. And one of the people who was awakened, in part, 
to a different level of my own awareness, my own consciousness, my own personal journey because of his transition as into spirit form, because that's what I do for my work, right? I connect with the spirit in the afterlife. So it made sense that I would connect with him. Why would he be any different than anyone else? Why do we expect celebrities to behave differently, to act differently? We put them on a pedestal and then our dreams are shattered when they do something human. Imagine that, they're human, all celebrities, all famous people, all influencers, all social media influencers, all video, TikTok people, everybody. Human beings, people. It's so easy to project our own fears of judgment onto other people, so easy. I do it myself, I know, I know. So yeah, so what a journey, five years. And so as a result of that, I wanted to, as I was reflecting on that yesterday, I wanted to do something to just honor that. And I figured I would maybe share an offer, which I will, I will do that. And I'll share it with you on Above Life channel. I'll share it on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube. Um, and when it's time to sign up for that, because it will be a service, because I am gonna make something. I'm gonna co-collaborate co with spirit. I'm gonna make something and show up and do my magic too. And that will be shared on Bridget Inspired on Facebook as well. So you'll be able to see that. You'll be able to find when that is available. There'll be three different levels of access. The first level is free, by the way. I know you guys like free stuff. I like free stuff too, but only free stuff that doesn't waste my time. I like free quality stuff, free quality content. So that's what you got. All right. So with that, we're going to chat a little bit, Prince and I. He has been here this morning. So I got to tell you the background story if you didn't hear it already. If I didn't, if you don't watch Fairy Grasshopper, you didn't get this already because I share all sorts of stuff. I chit chat over there all the time. So short background. I was thinking about this yesterday and opening up just like I did that day in April, opening up to the possibility of whatever. I was just open that day to my feelings. And yesterday when I was pondering, what can I do? I'd like to do something um, to share, etc., to honor this milestone, appreciation for the journey thus far, right? The evolution, the healing. And then last night I went to the grocery store to get some food with my hubby after we were walking in town and I saw the People magazine that was exclusively dedicated to Prince. And I thought, wow, this is cool. Took a picture, sent it to one of my purple friends, one of my PRDs. That's what, that's what we call them, right? That's what I called the people I started to work with right away as a small group. I just, I just... PRDs, purple raindrops, that's what I called them. I did a little Facebook group and stuff way back like five years ago, right? And shared my stuff that I was channeling with Prince on the quiet, the QT. Like I was, I had an, I was anonymous. <laughs> I created a website that was anonymous. I mean, I just did that because I didn't want it to interfere with my like regular psychic work, you know? I didn't want like my regular coaching clients to, and my psychic coaching clients, by the way, my people I was mentoring and working with psychically, intuitively, in a healing journey, et cetera, to think um, here I'm changing my whole focus and I'm just going to talk to Prince in the afterlife. That was not, I, I was concerned about that. I'm like, no, no, no. So I just kind of did it um, anonymously, some level of anonymity. You could have figured out who I was. It wasn't that complicated, but I just, I tried to do it as separate, keep it separate from my business. And so PRDs, right, PRDs. So I sent it to my PRD bestie. I, oh, see, without this experience, I would have never met her and some of the other wonderful people that I know because of it. They've been in my life for five years now, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. Oh, I love you guys. Without you, this would not be possible, even this video today. So thank you. And so I sent it to her. And of course, she sent me a text back showing me that she already had it because I was going to buy it for her, but I didn't buy it for myself. Now today, I'm going to go back and buy it because I need to have it so I can like look at it and do some stuff, inspire me to like look at it and have conversations with him about it because I think it'd be funny. Hey, what's this picture about? You want to talk to me about this? <laughs> you know, kind of fun, right? So I thought I got to go back and get it now, of course. So this morning I wake up and I'm like, I do my meditation and my morning routine and I'm like, awake and kind of charged and all of a sudden I, right after the meditation all this print stuff is just like purple energy I, I saw an image of my mug in 
my mind's eye, I had to get up and make some coffee in my mug and I decided right away, I'm like, I'm gonna share my Purple Magic retreat re-release, my virtual retreat, I'm gonna do all this stuff, just sort of boom, boom, boom. So I had to get out my notebook, write some things down, commit to some things. And by commit, I mean, I post it on Facebook to say this is what I'm doing so that I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. And then let the details kind of come after. And this is the details. So I'm like, I got to sit down and talk to Prince because <laughs> I'm like, dude, what is going on? And let's be clear. He is like a brother to me. That's how he feels. Like there's no romantic interest here. There's kind of a camaraderie. Like we, we you know, tease each other a bit and stuff. That's the energy vibe that I have with him. So you'll probably pick up on that. That's totally just the way it is, right? And I haven't felt you for a real long time. He says, that's because you were closed for business, Bridget. He's like, because you had a close sign up. And like he's referring to, he's telling me right now, last night when I was doing my walk with my husband, I was saying, yeah, I've been really working on in my meditation, because I, I do a meditation, I do a healing meditation also each day. I've been really working on my psychic clearing my resistance to working with mediumship and clearing my resistance to helping people on their healing journeys because it can be really heavy hearted and I'm trying to build up my heart muscles, my empathy muscles in a way that I feel like I can really hold that space without it dragging me down because I have to be able to do like more than one session a day. I can't and mediumship just really takes me to that place where I'm like, oh, I can't do this like I've done it before because it does not work for me. I'd have to charge people like $400 in order to do one session because it's just in proportion to the energy expenditure. It's just not, it's hard for me. It's been, and it doesn't have to be. And I know that. So I'm like working my own program here. And he's like, yeah, you've been working your program. You've been working good. You've been doing good. Now, now it's time to do more. I'm like, okay. And so he's referring to me talking to my husband about this. We had this total conversation. He likes my husband. So he's really cool with my husband because my husband played the guitar when he was younger and in the band and stuff. And so, and still has a guitar, right? And he's like, yeah, he needs to be playing that. I know he does. That's one of the things that he's been starting to think about so that's cool that's real cool good inspiration there but um i i appreciate that i appreciate that yes i appreciate that and, he's, and i know it doesn't have to be hard and i i thank you for being part of my heart to help support that process and it feels different connecting with you feels different you are such a badass coach prince is really a badass coach for me like creativity coach like he and I work similar, like I get big bursts of energy and I gotta make, make, make stuff. And March is a great time for that because it's springtime and the energy is natural for growth and abundance and all that. And it seems like there's a lot of things that are released in March, which I'm like, oh, I try to resist that if I can because there's too much energy in the field then. I'd like to wait if I can or do it before then because I wanna work and create during this time, <laughs> selfishly. <laughs> I know my productivity cycles, he said, hey, there's nothing wrong with time in the studio. And that's what he calls this, like time in the studio when we talk and connect. So how do you, okay, so what's the deal? How do you feel about this? Like, I just started thinking about it and it came, can you talk about that? Like, how does that work? How do you make connections like that? Start with like how you connected with me, how you connect with me and then tell me how you, is that similar or different than how you connect with other people? Can you talk about that a little bit? Hmm. He says, what do you want me to say about that? Well, he's like, mm. you, you, got, you have to work with what you got. He says, you got to make do with what you have. So like with you, it's easier for you to, to see me. He says, it's easier for you to look at me and see me and, and I seem more human. So it's, it's much easier for you to accept me where with uh, uh, other people, it's, it doesn't work like that, Bridget. It just doesn't work like that. They just feel me more. They feel me like, um, he shows me a purple in the heart space, purple heart. They feel me and, um, okay, so I'm gonna ask you, cause I'm talking to you in my head at the same time. I'm trying to break this out externally so everybody can hear. So your symbol, your love symbol, the first one and then the second one, the second iteration of symbol, is that, does that help people? connect and communicate? Because I believe symbol really is a powerful metaphor. Yes, he says, yes, it can. 
It can, if that's if that's a language you speak. It's just like um, different types of music, like you guys, genres of music. You like some more than others. So same with uh, spirit can, spiritual. He's so funny because he doesn't say psychic. He always calls me mystic. He never calls me psychic. You never call me psychic. Why is that? Oh, it sounds so voodoo, he says. <laughs> It sounds so voodoo. It sounds so voodoo. He says, and besides, it's not accurate about what you do. It's not like you don't sit and predict um, volcano eruptions and earthquakes. And he's like, that's kind of what people think of. They think about all these bad things happening and they want to get a warning. That's what people think of when they think of psychic, Bridget. That's why I don't call you psychic. Wow, you guys, I never knew that was why. I had no idea. Well, you never asked. You never asked me. <laughs> Like, okay, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> mm, yeah, he calls me mystic more. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's more like magical. I like that. I appreciate, I appreciate that. So, so the symbol can help people to connect. It, it can, if that's, that's the type, if that's something like, you know how people, he says, you know how people wear cross necklaces to represent Jesus, their connection to Jesus, their own humanity, their own ability to forgive and to heal. And that's what the cross means. He says, I know you think it means something different. Oh, oh, hello. We're going to be talking about symbols, everyone. This is Prince in the afterlife talking about symbols. Yes, a cross. The cross is tricky for me personally. I'm not because of Christianity necessarily, but because of the fact that Jesus, you and I are both a fan of Jesus prince in the afterlife. Jesus was a real person, regardless of whether you believe in Christianity, religion, or whatever. He really, he was a person. Just so you guys know, in case you're wondering, uh, that's what the deal, he was a real person. And so, um, we both are a fan. So when it comes to Jesus, I naturally think of the cross, which many people think of, but, but since my, my journey as a psychic and a medium and my afterlife collection connections and my channeling experiences with not just celebrities like human people that we recognize as famous people but with afterlife uh, deities like like uh, uh, and saints like jesus and many others that i've channeled as well like fairy grasshopper has some of those if you're interested in that those kinds of different channelings, you should check out Fairy Grasshopper YouTube because I do share some of that stuff, like Mother Mary, I've got a channeling with her there, and um, a goddess, uh, the Egyptian goddess Isis, who's somebody that I work with, um, so in small groups and stuff, and I, I have sharing, I have stuff there. So, Fairy Grasshopper YouTube, plug in. Um, hey, thanks for that, by the way. We're talking about the cross and symbol. And so, the cross, for me personally, as Bridget, is like, with the crucifixion. So to me, that's like pain and suffering and death. And I'm like, I don't know, the cross feels like a symbol of pain. Like, why would I wear that? And I have one, like I have a cross necklace and I have a beautiful cross bracelet that I really felt a couple years ago I had to have after connecting with Prince because one of the experiences he and I had had together was in working with um, the energy of Jesus together. Like I did that, like he brought that in in one of my experiences down by the Minnesota River um, in Henderson. So if you're a Prince fan fam, Prince admirer, you know Henderson because that's where that road there, that dirt road where the purple rain um, scene, that iconic scene and was filmed where he's riding his motorcycle down that dirt road and he ends up under this bridge and I was there and I went there and channeled there and I connected and he brought in Jesus and so we kind of had this conversation so then I felt like I needed to have the cross and I'm like you know the cross and he says you know the cross is integrated in my symbol in the love symbol he's like and it is mine like he says mine like he feels an ownership to that gorgeous symbol whether you guys there's two versions of that symbol the one that became your name which is identity he says that identifies me that is the one that many people will identify with me he says identify with me yes yes he says yes see it's a name see he's like see see symbols are powerful they have meaning they have meaning and the cross is in, in both of them. It's in that one and it's in the original one, you guys, from like, I think it was Graffiti Bridge, was it? That had it where it was just a purple rain. It might have been purple rain with just the circle, the arrow pointing down and then the cross across it. I love that one, you guys. I don't have that, actually. I actually thought about getting that as a tattoo just because I like it. That one, the first one, that just pure, like, 
just like male, female, balance. The circle feels like a, a portal of opportunity. The arrow feels like connection to the earth. That cross feels like choices I get to make in my life. I mean, I just, I love it. I really like that. I don't have it. And I have a friend that in one of our, our retreats I, I hosted for three years, 2017, 18, and 19, before the pandemic stuff and we couldn't anymore, um, I hosted in-person retreats in the fall, purple magic. And um, one of my friends there, one of the PRDs, purple raindrops, um, that came had this beautiful long necklace that had that symbol on it. I don't have that symbol. I should maybe think about getting one of those, huh? Maybe, maybe I will. I don't buy a lot of um, specific. Most of the stuff I get from celebrity afterlife stuff is from fans. Like I have an Elvis mug and earrings and I have a t-shirt that I got from, um, one of the Purple Magic Retreats experiences from all the from the participants uh, gifted to me, that which was really nice. I got a t-shirt, really cool, beautiful watercolor t-shirt from Paisley Park. I should wear that. I'll wear it in one of my, my sessions with him. That's beautiful. So the cross, so I feel like it's like pain. Like, why would I wear that? And then, so I haven't really worn it for quite a while now. And it was during the pandemic, you guys, that I stopped wearing it. And interesting, right now I'm just making that connection. He says, because we come to a crossroads, it is about who we are and what we are to become. So it's sort of a, a, a difference between your identity of self in the human form and your identity in, of self as a spirit where you transcend the one individual and you become the whole of all. It doesn't have to do with religion, he says. It's not about religion and symbols are taken up by religions, they're chosen by religions, but the symbol exists previously. The symbol exists before it is adopted by a particular religion, group, organization, etc. It's not, it's, it becomes a logo. He says, yeah, for marketing purposes, yeah. Everybody knows what the cross is. They think of Jesus. So it instantly makes you feel like Jesus promotes this. <laughs> Jesus supports this. And I think, and he says, I think Jesus would be okay with that, Bridget. Maybe you should ask him. <laughs> like, I'm not going to channel Jesus, Prince. Not in this session. But yes, so it's more like a crossroads of, it's decisions. It's decision points. It's like at the center of you, who are you really? Who are you really and who are you choosing to become? That's the big question. That is beautiful. Now I have a new affinity for the cross thank you wow you guys hey would you guys take a minute here the viewers of above life channel would you guys take a minute to put in the comments below what your symbols are that you really identify with like do you have like a, a mother and child necklace that you have that really means a lot to you that symbol of the the child and the mother just feels good or or do you have like a heart bracelet you wear or do you have a a, a symbol like a butterfly tattoo because it's like freedom or or a, a a cross or wings or, or anything what kind of symbol are you do you identify with that you are really drawn to go ahead and just put that below and maybe share what the meaning is for you in that because that would be nice that's a cool way to energetically get to know people in the comments and some of you guys as viewers really make connections with each other and i love that that's that's part of the point of this is to have a a grid work a network a community of support as well so Thanks for that symbol stuff, you guys. Symbols, wow, I didn't, we should call this video Symbols with Prince 101. <laughs> he's like, oh brother, like he's rolling his eyes like Bridget. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. I got my cozy purple blanket cuddling up here in the green room this morning. You guys can kind of see the sun kind of peeking out here, coming out. It's great. All right, so what, what, so you and I, so you came to me this morning and you literally came to me. But when I say that, you guys, I want to be really clear. I don't mean Prince chose me and came to me and said, um, excuse me, Bridget, Bridget. It wasn't like that. I was open yesterday. My mind was open. I was asking in my mind by having a conversation with myself about, hum, I'd like to do something for the fifth year of his transition and support the community of the people who were part of my initial channeling that I did with Prince. And so I thought, I want to do that. Like a gratitude, a giving back, uh, harmoniz harmonizing the energy of how far we've come collectively and individually as well on our own 
personal purple growth process and I'm seeing a spiral personal purple growth process I see a spiral another symbol you guys spiral is a big symbol for me it means inward within it means solar plexus spirit intuition it can mean earth energy it can be a labyrinth for you it can be all sorts of things but I see a purple one usually I see it yellow so purple and obviously prints connected purple sweet energy sweet sweet energy Mm -hmm. so you connect with people differently a lot of times people will feel you they'll feel your energy and he's like using music usually it's music it can be pictures um, that triggers a memory he says and then there's an opening so with you Bridget he's like with you you opened asked you started to think about doing this which opens up the doorway then it opens up the opportunity to receive information back and that's how it happened with you then you saw the picture on the magazine then you you know had an overnight you slept all that kind of stuff restless night sleep by the way very restless and then in the morning woke up did my normal routine and boom all of a sudden it was there the energy of Prince was there. The ideas were there. Okay, I'm going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. So I got the answer. I got the response. I received the response. But you guys, it took from like 2 o'clock in the afternoon one day until the next morning at like 6.30, 7 a.m. Okay? So it's not, and that's fast, you guys. When you start to ask, you start to open up. It's a process. It's not like instant, quick fix, drive through service. Oh, please, Prince is so not like that. You really think he's a drive through service? Oh, no, no, no. You will be waiting for him because that's how artistry works. <laughs> he's like, mm hmm. And he shows me this cane. He's got this cane and he just taps it on the ground twice. Boom, boom. You got it. Mm hmm. It's like the master at work. <laughs> so, feels, ooh. so easy to connect with you creatively and feel the energy of momentum. It, you, really, you really stir within me, create, creating, creating, creating. And I'm driven by the opportunity for healing connections with people. And that inspires me. And this is coming at the same time that I have been for several months, for at least the last couple of months, working on healing my psychic my psychicness is what I call it, healing my psychicness. Every day working on doing a meditation for healing for that, whatever blocks I might have, because I want to be able to do some mediumship work in my private practice just to help people start the process for them. And mediumship is a really good way to do that. Just that initial contact and experience can really give them hope. You know, it's about hope. So I, and to me, hope is purple, which you guys know, I have a hope mug, a mug that's purple that says hope. And that's what it's from. It's from, the, it's from working with Prince. It's from the two of us connecting with that word hope very strongly. That's like my product. That's what I sell. That's what I, I share. That's what I, I mean, hope. Everything for me revolves around hope, right? So, so it took time for me to receive back. And I'm in tune, like I do this for a living. So don't be pushy, judging, hard on yourself. I know you're going to be, but when you are just go, okay, whatever. I'm gonna give myself some space, drop out of your, your head, your brain that's judging you and telling you the stupid, whatever, like he's really gonna talk to you, whatever, like you think you're all that, blah, 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 whatever. That's your brain, okay? That's your like high school girl self being mean girl self to you. Okay, whether you're a girl or a guy, that's high school mean girl self-talk. Drop into your heart. Your heart is so sweet. She's got space for you. She's making cookies. She's giving you your cozy purple blanket, giving you some space to just spread out and wait. Wait for the response. Wait for inspiration to bubble up. Sometimes that inspiration for me personally bubbles up from my solar plexus. My spirit chakra and comes right up into my heart. And then I'm like, okay, let's do this. Party time, let's do this. Woohoo! <laughs> That's how I felt this morning. I'm gonna get real tired real soon, so I'm gonna have to. Now, at least finally, I can probably do my yoga prints because you know, after the morning routine of meditation and, and tapping or some other healthy thing, like two different forms of meditation, tea, and then coffee and like yoga is one of my things I've been doing that's been really helping and I could not do this morning. I was so, yay! So I got some things accomplished, so thank you for that. I've been able to receive some things very quickly, rapidly. I wrote them down. I have journals everywhere. I have notebooks everywhere. I have two over here I can't quite reach because I'll probably pull the thing right out of the 
phone here, but my, I'm wired up here, so with the mic. But I have a couple right there. I have one by my bedside. I have two at the kitchen table. I actually have one by my purse, a little one. I mean, so I have a lot, a lot of places to write stuff when stuff comes. I have one in my car. <laughs> so I write it down. So I did that this morning. So thank you for that. So I was able to receive. So it takes that giving yourself room, creating some space and allowing yourself time to receive how you're going to receive. And the heart, like Prince says, and the heart is the place you're going to do it. Use symbols, use the symbols, maybe even hold that symbol and meditate with it and use one of the guided meditations. I have guided meditations here on Above Life channel. There's a playlist. Go look at the Prince playlist if you're a Prince fam, fam admirer and use that one if you wanna connect with them. I mean, I have those here. They're available to you and they're free. So use them on the playlist, okay? So yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, thanks for being here, I appreciate it. We're gonna be working together for the next few weeks, I think, as we're creating this, some, some three different levels of kind of offering, right? Mm -hmm. as we're kind of formatting that. I'll be sharing again at Bridget Inspired on Facebook and on YouTube here at Above Life channel. I'll post it in the community tab and also on Fairy Grasshopper YouTube. You'll probably get some vlogs where I'm talking about it <laughs> coming up where he's telling me stuff or whatever because I like to share my little stories. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that. So so yeah, this will be fun. This will be good. I'm glad glad to be connecting with you. Thanks for being here. It's like, thanks for, thanks for letting me come over. Thanks for letting me drop by, he says, because I've been like closed for a long time, closed for business. Do not bother me. <laughs> Nobody talk to me unless I invite you in. <laughs> That's pretty much how it's been, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, thank you. Thanks for being here. You've been watching Bridget. That's me at Above Life Channel on YouTube. We've been having a conversation with Prince in the afterlife. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember the purpose at Above Life Channel is always to inspire your spirit to fill you with hope. I hope that we have done that today. Before you leave, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a new channeling video. I try to share channeling videos weekly. I also have a podcast series that's going on. You can check on my playlist. It usually comes out on Sundays. It's just a short audio, usually audio format. Sunday morning coffee where I take an intuitive and life topic and chat about it a bit with you, giving you some inspiration and some hope to start your week. All right. Thanks for being here. Have a good day.